Day four to our buggy trip. Uh, on this day, the girls had planned uh, shopping in Moab for the day, so uh, ended up just being three buggies, and we were able to leave uh, from the place we were staying uh, across the highway and uh, hit behind the rocks. Uh, the plan was to do behind the rocks, attempt to go down Pritchett Canyon to the end, uh, then we'd had to turn around, come back up Pritchett Canyon, and then back to the cabin. But uh, as you'll see, uh, those uh, goals were a little ambitious for our buggies.
too. Yeah. Now. Oh, hell. You know, that's why you want to ride in the back. That's why you're riding in the back, so you can see. I'll show you the I'm line. Back, I got, I'm like, I gotta do. I'm no, seriously though. I'm like, okay, don't let off there. Don't let off there. Yeah. Yeah. You made it, it look. Helps. You I'm made it look easy. I'm going first. Got real quick. All right. Now we're on a feature called Terracotta Warriors. Don't let that back. I'm going to you real quick. I'll catch up. Ten four. From the picture frame arch, it would be about five miles to the uh, next obstacle or next stop, which was White Knuckle. Uh, this was a fun section. Uh, we went through a couple of obst named obstacles like Hummer Hill and Roller Coaster. Uh, yeah, it was a good little section.
All right. We're still on behind the rocks. This feature is called uh, White Knuckle. We've uh, scoped out this side. It uh, doesn't look like we want to try that. We can get down to this level and then it gets uh, get sketchy. So we found a line over here. We're gonna give it a gonna give it a go over here. And uh, yeah, it looks real good too. But worst thing that happened, you end up in that tree. Getting off of this one. Yeah. This is the problem right here. Coming off of that, and your front's going down that face right there at the same time. Go way around this. Yeah, we gotta go. Yes. Just back and go around. Yeah. Back to that road, a little ways back. If it, that doesn't bother me. Yeah. It's this. But we gotta go up that shit we just came down. I mean, it's a little ways back. So after further evaluation, uh, we elected to turn around and not go down white knuckle. Uh, we'd have had to, we'd had to put a rope on the back of the buggies, and uh, since there was only three of us, uh, we really didn't have a way to get that last buggy down. So we took it safe, turned around. Our next stop was four and a half miles away uh, to Pritchett Canyon. Yeah, so from here we were uh, just about two miles away from uh, the first obstacle on Pritchett Canyon. Uh, we did uh, go down Yellow Hill and we were prepared to go down the rock pile, but right after rock pile is another feature called uh, Axle Hill. Now keep in mind we, we had planned on going down Pritchett Canyon and back up, but uh, given the daylight, uh, the, the height of the obstacles, uh, we, we chose we'd better turn around. Every obstacle. 
vehicle, keep that in mind. Because if it doesn't look like we can come back, then let's stop. I assume it's just mismarked on my tracks. I assume this is Yellow Hill because the other one wasn't shit. But we're getting ready to go. There's a winch point if we need it. Let's get back up. But I'm going to turn the cameraman camera over to Mr. McCarns. Whew.
after uh, descending Yellow Hill, we walked walked through a uh, rock pile and uh, Axle Hill, and uh, you know we just determined uh, it, it kind of exceeded our our buggy's capabilities, and uh, you know we were running out of daylight. We're still you know 25 plus miles uh, back to camp, so uh, we turned around. Uh, next stop was about halfway up Hunter's Canyon, about five miles away. All right, we got down the first obstacle in Pritchett Canyon. We're kind of coming at it backwards. Uh, it wasn't a one-way trail, but it's clearly meant to, to be going the other direction. Uh, we got to the second obstacle and took a look, and uh, clearly it's uh, beyond the capabilities of our buggies. So uh, we're going to uh, start turning around. Uh, we're going to winch out of Yellow Hill. Uh, Zach drove out, but I'm not real comfortable, so. Well, that was scary. <laughs> Ended up hooking up the winch, but the traction was good, so we just cobbed it. And uh, it was fine, so uh, Bailey's going to try it without the winch. All right, Bailey going up. We're not even hooking the winch. Me and Zach hooked up the winch, but we ended up driving over them. So, uh, Bailey's gonna try it without hooking up the winch. You good? Yeah! Beat all over. I did. Ba Bailey says he loves you, D. We show him what to do. All right. On the next hard hill, you got to lead because me and Zach are showing you how to do it, and you're making it look easy. It wasn't as bad as it, <laughs> it looked like from up here. Yeah, it's just a highlight reel. <laughs> yeah. Like we're all really 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 Yeah, Hunter Canyon ended up uh, being a little more exciting uh, than I had originally thought. But uh, yeah, we're running out of daylight. This last segment, it's uh, about 25 miles uh, back to the to the cabin. Uh, this was all fast and flowing. Uh, it was like the main roads kind of stuff. Uh, GoPros were were dead. I didn't get much video. Uh, we did have a little runoff between the uh, Talon and the Armax, and I will say uh, the Armax won on the dirt, and then the Talon uh, won on the pavement. Unfortunately, I only got the one on the pavement. Oh. 